their bills overdue. Two hundred dollars for protection fees. Listen, Mr. Town Tamer, I don't even have two dollars. And even if I did, I wouldn't pay it to you. Now get off my property. All right, kid. You missed a payment last month and your barn burned down. This time it'll be the house. After that, your ranch will belong to Town Tamers Incorporated. What? Somebody's gonna taste lead. You were ordered off the boy's property. You go. You and Tonto were just like Dad said you were before he... He... Before he gave me your silver bullet. He was a brave man, Kenny. You're made of the same stuff. You say Tom Tamers run crooks out of town, then take over themselves? That's right, Tonto. We thought they were peace officers. No, Kenny. They're outlaws themselves, hiding behind badges. Maybe I'd better sell out and take Debbie back east. Nobody's going to chase you away, son. Let's go, Tonto. Those Tom Tamers need taming. <laughs> Sorry, we surrounded by black suits. We can't make a play now, Tonto. They'd cut us down. You two are under arrest. Jack Red. Strange seeing you on that side of the badge. I'm the law here, Lone Ranger. Drop your guns and unsaddle. What do you know? We're arresting the Lone Ranger. What's the charge? Interfering with the law and carrying firearms. Now lock him up. The legales are built. It's dark now, Kimosabi. And time for action. <laughs> Valeria, Vito. Bro. Don't do the same. Hey, what? 
large, tamed kimoshabi, all tied up and ready for delivery to their own jail. You saved our ranch. I, I sure owe you a lot. No kidding. It's we that owe you. We wouldn't be here if you didn't have the courage to stand up to those guns. The reward money is yours. Now build life for you and sister. The money's important, but your silver bullet means more than anything. It'll remind me to be brave and have faith. That's what the silver bullet means, Kenny. Goodbye, young friend. The Puppet Master again. That's right, Lone Ranger. This is the third and last time you'll foil my plans. I intend to make it your last time, Puppet Master. <laughs> then you shall have the chance to meet Shandar in person, if you have the courage. Try me. A ticket. Shandar's puppet show. Washoe City. Not go, King Wasabi. It's a trap. I know, Tonto. But I wouldn't miss this show for my life. Ghost Town, King Wasabi. Nobody here. Shonda's here, Tonto. There's the theater. Today only. Special attraction. Death of Lone Ranger. If I'm going to portray myself, I may have to change the ending. Let's go. Ticket, please. So, Shandar's a ventriloquist, too. Check your guns. No, Kimosabi. We'll have to play by his rules, Tonto. For now. Kimosabi! Command performance. Only the Lone Ranger is invited. It's all right, Tonto. I'll call out if I need help. Front row center, Lone Ranger. What? Ah, a captive audience. And now Shandor presents the Gladiator. He could have killed you then, Ranger. But the show would have ended before it started. True. And I wouldn't have proved my puppet people are superior to real people. If that's a challenge, I accept. Then step up on the stage. The first act is about to begin. Meet your co-star, the Samurai Warrior. Sandbags. Aye! Now you die! Act one is over, Shandar. Ah, but here comes act two. Presenting the ballerina in her dance of death. Oh. Now, my beauty, now! 
very ungraceful finish. But the final act will be your finish. An excellent likeness, Shandor. Soon, only one Lone Ranger. Me. Chief Wasabi! Which one real Lone Ranger? Kimosabi! Kill him, Tonto. Lone Ranger never shoot unarmed man. The puppet show's over, Shandar. Not yet. After I destroy this meddler, I'm coming for you. Up here, Tonto. We must stop the gladiator. Here I am. Ranger. <laughs> He's mine. Gone. So that's how it's done. Watch yourself, Kimo. Oh! This time, I will not fail. Gladiator, you've got company. No. No. You are my people. You have turned them against me. You know my secret? That's right, gladiator. Oh. Inside handsome giant, ugly little man. And inside Shandar's real self, he's even uglier. To the world I was nothing. But to my puppets, I was everything. I was their master. You beat me, Lone Ranger. No, Shandar. You were defeated by your own evil creation. This mountain climber is starting to tire. Can't go any higher. Why'd he run out of energy so soon? He didn't fuel up. What? With a good breakfast. <laughs> like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which have almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, you're headed straight for the top. Cheerios! Cheerios! <laughs> Introducing Zipper Cat Skate and Flush from the Get Along Gang. You can play like Zipper Cat, Dino Bear is really out. Max Mason, Mr. Pickett, Super Breaking, Zip, Stop and Jack, Mappin, Happy Clappin', Mappin, Roller Skater in the Gang. Zipper Cat Skate and Flush from the Get Along Gang. New from Tomy. Franco American presents Mr. O. Hi, O. Today, Cook Gormando will show us why kids are going to like new SpaghettiOs even more than before. First, we added more plump, juicy potatoes. No, that's more plump, juicy tomatoes. And more real shredded leaves. No, more real cheddar cheese. And more lean beets. More lean beef. New SpaghettiOs with more cheese, beef, and tomatoes. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> This Saturday morning marked the first time that no cartoons aired on an American broadcast channel. The last channel still showing cartoons. Hold the plug. Cartoons were the dominant. Good morning, Platoon. It's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Saturday morning. You knew what that means. It's time for Saturday morning cereals. As always, I'm your host, Captain Bring Captain Cartoon, bringing you. The Platoon, the best in cartoons from years gone by. From the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. If I could bring them to you from the future, I would. But I can't because I don't have a time machine yet. Yet. Because so far, I haven't come back to give myself the technology to build the time machine so that I could have the time machine in the future. So, when that day happens, then I'll have my time machine. <laughs> We've talked about parallel universes, now we're talking about time travel. 
We haven't talked about parallel universes in a long time, but we've been hitting on it hard at the shop. So, you know, we're going to talk about that from here to time to time. But, as always, Saturday Morning Serials is brought to you by Are You Game, the best comic book collectible video game magic toy role playing collectible shop located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. You can find Are You Game on the Facebooks. Uh, you can go up there as A R E letter U G A M E. And, um, if you ever see anything on there and you live inside the United States, I and I have it in stock, I will ship it to you. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked the little cartoon I put in the beginning. Um, I thought I was going to have fun and do something before the episode. Uh, I thought about putting the um, the good old school uh, um, farm report, but uh, I grew up. So the farm report would have been uh, if I would have put a whole bunch of cartoons. So another whole hour from 7 to 8. Before 7, then I would put the farm report. Uh, for those that remember, we've brought that up before. Uh, some of you guys reached out to me and he goes, Yeah, that's, I woke up in the morning, man. The farm report was going off when I got up to go, you know. I had to get up so ungodly early in the morning because I lived out in the country and uh, at one point. And for the bus to come pick me up, uh, I had to be at school like at 8 something. The bus had to pick me up at like 6 something. Uh... That was horrible. Um, and uh, I would get up and the farm report would still be on TV when I'd be getting ready for school. And uh, not so much on the weekends because uh, uh, by that time I had a job. So I didn't have to be there till uh, 9 o'clock. So that's when you put your tape in, hit record, record your cartoons while you're off going to work. So... All right, hope you like the Lone Ranger that I put out there, um, because we're going to keep it in the uh, Old West theme. We're going to bring you some The New Adventures of Zorro from Filmations. Um, yeah, like I said, I've, I've brought this up, man. I like that cartoon. Uh, the fact that it, 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 instead of like the other ones do the little PSAs, they actually teach you Spanish. And I do like the end of this, this you know, but... The, the the fact that, you know, they're giving you little tidbits of actual real information. And not just like, oh, you know, don't take this, don't do that, whatever. You know, G.I. Joe, and now you know. It's like, hey, you learned a new Spanish word. So, this is Zorro, Episode 4, Turnabout. Enjoy. Zorro! Zorro! As Don Diego, I pretend to be afraid. But with a mask as my disguise, I ride into the night and raise my sword in the name of justice. For I am Zorro! Oh, 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 oh. Truly the finest swordsman in all of Spain. The whole world. And almost as good as Zorro. Better. You can save your sword for that outlaw, Zorro. To the end of Zorro. To the end of Zorro. Achoo. Oh, Maria. This may be the end of me. It's just a slight fever, senorita. Just a slight fever? 
It's true. I'll look in on you later. They are transferring Luis and Fernando to the island prison at sundown today. We'll be there. Ah, true. interferes with our work. I see. And this Zorro is less of a swordsman than I thought. Perhaps. I want him unmasked. I must know who he is. To do that, I must first become the criminal's friend. of His Majesty's Royal Envoy, the Governor General, you are hereby evicted from this premises for non-payment of taxes. But we have paid our taxes. Well, well but these are all taxes. Unlawful taxes. Zorro! These people are poor and innocent. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that... Thank you for your help. I am Mario, and the pleasure is mine. We shall meet again when you need my help. Adios. I don't know what to make of it, amigo. I just don't know. Now, you will be careful. Hmm? Ah, Diego, Santa Barbara is only a day's journey. It's you who should take care of that cold. Adios, Maria. Have a good journey. Will she still be safe, Sergeant? Oh, I would not worry. Though Velasco's bandidos have been attacking carriages on the highway again, one never knows. Oh, well, thank you, Sergeant, for those... Reassuring words. Oh, you'll excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit weak.
This may be a trap. You fall. Stop, Zorro. We'll get the courage. Zorro, the courage. I will stop the courage, amigo. seems to know Ramon's every move. I wonder. Oh, you should have seen him, Diego. In his beautiful white suit. How magnificent. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so now there are two masked men in your life, Maria. Well, who shall win out? Oh, Diego... There is something I don't trust about this Mario. Capitan Ramon trusts him, I think. Oh, does he? Si. He told Mario, tomorrow we take the gold Zorro has stolen and hidden with the peasants in Anacapa Canyon. Zorro's gold, ah. Uh, in the canyon. Zoro's gold. Ah, Tempest! Zoro, it's about time. It's Zoro! Stand your ground and fight him! Your 
surface. That remains to be seen, my friend. Ha-ha! Thank you, Sergeant. Gracias. Soon he will be my prisoner. Ah, uh -huh. never. You may be surprised. All I have. It is all you had. Now it is mine. What is this? Nothing. Only a sick old man. You said you wanted sorrow, not an old man's gold. Now call off your men. Oh, and I was having such fun. The gold, Ramon. Return it. Are you? <laughs> of course. For your horses. Gracias, senor. Gracias. I know of your meeting with Ramon. It is always wise to know your enemy. I agree. I know now Ramon is a skunk. And those who work with skunks also smell. I have misjudged your strength, Sorrow, and your purpose. My purpose is my strength. Your fight is with Ramon, not me. You deny being Ramon's ally? I admit Ramon brought me here, but it was to unmask an outlaw, not a friend of the people. Don't you see? I was fooled. This is exactly what Ramon wants. Is this another of Ramon's tricks? Neither of us can win this fight. Only Ramon. I tell you, as a man of honor, I am your ally. He has set a trap for you at the cliffs. He has prisoners, tax evaders, that he plans to send to the island prison. And together we will ride into that trap? No. Together we will break that trap. That was very clever of you to dress those soldiers like prisoners. See, I felt our Mario was not to be fully trusted. So just in case our prisoners are armed. <laughs> that should give them more than they bargained for. I give the signal, you prisoners will draw your swords. Understood? Ah, into my web. Soldiers, attack! Now, Mario, you will take Zorro. No, Ramon. I will not be part of your plan. We have come to free the prisoners. Free them? They're all yours! Now! They have tricked me, Soro. No matter, my friend. Now we fight together! Ha! 
You chose a fine swordsman in Mario. Gracias. A traitor! My sword, fool! to have you stay and join us, Mario. Gracias, amigo. But with what I have learned from you, I can see there is much to do at home in Spain. Adios, amigo. Vaya con Dios. That Mario was a real waste of money. We could have lost to Zorro on our own. He certainly was handsome. As handsome as Zorro? Oh, Diego. As you know, many words used in English were first Spanish words, like the canyon in today's adventure. Canyon is exactly the same word in Spanish. And the coyote is called the same in Spanish. Coyote. Adios, amigo! your pet feels being treated like that. Well, pets are fun. They're the most loyal companions you could ever have. But you need to realize that pets are not a toy. Pets, whether they be dogs, cats, horses, or cockatoos, are just like us. Treat them with kindness, and you'll get it all back. Okay, Tony. You're right. I didn't mean to hurt you. Can we still be pals? want to play frisbee instead? <laughs> and that's one to grow on. <laughs> Free ride, pull! Okay, the McDonald's Happy Meal guys. Roger, hamburger, fries, and soft drink, all regular size. How do you like the ride so far? Ride? What ride? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> get one of five different Happy Pails when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal. And one for the king. <laughs> you can collect all five Happy Pails at McDonald's. What chicken? Cinnamon. Toast crunch. Cinnamon and sugar. We're baking up a bunch. We bake homemade paste in the cinnamon. Toast crunch. We're cinnamon and sugar shakers. Wow. We're cinnamon toast crunch bakers. Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal tastes like homemade cinnamon toast. A toasty part of this nutritious breakfast. Bacon homemade taste. It's like homemade. 
in the cinnamon toast crunch. He's like, oh my, R two D two. Man, how cool was this in 1978? Look at that. How cool and chromey it was, man. Metal vac. Yeah. That stuff was cool back then, man. It's all chromey. That's still one of the best figures like ever made is the C-3PO. Because, I mean, it looked ex almost exactly like the, the... Except for, you know, the little midsection in his leg. But that was a pretty good job. So hope you guys still dig... Zorro. Uh, I do like the uh, little bit of Spanish you learned this today is the Spanish that we've already known because it's American, the English word and the Spanish word are the same. Uh, but coyote is uh, every Latino I've ever known was it was coyote. So not coyote. Coyote. So they got to put that in Spanish. You know? <laughs> so all right. We're keeping with the West theme, except for this time we are going into space with some uh, other Filmation cartoons. We're going to be doing Brave Star. I haven't shown Brave Star in a while. Um, talked to Ace Raman from Raman Toys in the last episode of Group Therapy. We talked about the coming of the new Marshall figure and the new 3-0, which I wish we could have showed there, but they were debuting them at PowerCon, which is going on right now as we speak. Uh, if you were watching this on the August uh, 11th, uh, then yeah. But if not, then uh, no. Well, August 12th. So <laughs> if you're not watching on this weekend, then then no, it's not going on this weekend. But um, this is Brave Star. Then this is the episode Carrium Fever. Enjoy. <laughs> Catch you, Fuzz. No. Good shot. Thank you. Your turn. Ooh, town so quiet. Maybe time for brave style vacation? A little too quiet, Fuzz. A marshal learns to read a town. This one feels like there's pressure building up. Wrong time for a vacation. It might blow. There it goes. Ooh, who's my bad shots? Deputy. Can you get the star hoop? You okay? Yeah, fine. Just like him. Yep. Seems ready to blow, all right. I sure wish we could afford more than one glass of sweet water. Strike some carrium soon, we're gonna end up drinking lizard milk. Howdy, Fred, double sweet water. I got no money for sweet water, the mine's gone bust. <laughs> On me. Thanks, Handlebar. Well, seems like this is the longest we ever went without somebody finding carrium. Yeah, maybe it's time to head for another planet. This here new Texas is played out. All right, boys, that's enough. You're gonna get folks upset for no good reason. Going broke's a good reason. How oh, these, Mr. Handlebars? How oh, these, fellas? What can I do for you? <laughs> we like him sweet water. Now, where'd you fuzzballs get enough money for sweet water? Money? Uh, we got. Carrium. Well, boy, howdy. Where'd you get this, you critters? Hold on now. No name calling in my place. Hey, stay out of this, Handlebar. We just want to ask these critters a question. I told you, no name calling. 
Answer the man, where'd you find that? Where'd you get that carrium? Stop those critters! There's gonna be trouble! Carrium! Carrium! You folks have some kind of problem? Yeah, yeah, there, there, there's a problem. We're starving and those critters got carrium and they ain't even human. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? We just want to know where them critters found that carrium. Yeah, they don't need carrium. Carrium's for real people. Where they got that carrium is their business. Well, Marshal, we're making it our business. Draw those neutral lasers and it's gonna be the law's business. I warned you once. I won't again. Strength of the bear! Now get out of here before I really get irritated. You think the marshal will be protecting us instead of them... them... Don't say it. I'm really worried, Brave Star. Mm -hmm. It's carrium fever. Makes folks plumb crazy. Well, somebody's gonna strike pay dirt sooner or later. I just hope it's sooner for the fairy people's sake. Those little critters ain't rich. Wait till I tell Tex Hex. Brave The town is dry, but the prairie people have lots of carrion. Good. Then I'll steal it. <laughs> Tex Hex strikes it rich while everybody else goes broke. <laughs> The only problem is, the carrion must be in the middle of the Perry people's settlement. If we just go in and take it, that Marshal Busybody will be down on us for sure. Wish there was a way of keeping an eye on Brave Star. Oh, Thunderstick, you're not as stupid as you look. Maybe we can keep an eye on that miserable Marshal. I'll check out one of my little friends. <laughs> Well, my little tiny flies by, I have a job for you. Seems to me we should find out where they keep their carrium. I say it's our duty to find out. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, what do we need that carrium for anyhow? Huh? Yeah, well, let's go. God, y'all text that some bag. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. You three stay put. You'll just get in more trouble. Heck with Brave Star. Let's go get that carrium. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! What's going on here? Oh, yeah. You folks are acting loco. Well, we've been talking it over and we decided. Yeah, them prairie people are going to have to tell us where they mine their carrium. And what if they don't want to? <laughs> we'll make them. Yeah! Uh -huh. Darn right! Not while I'm Marshal. <laughs> Wonderful! Couldn't be better! Them stupid prospectors are gonna help me get that carrium! They are? How come? Cause they're gonna declare war on those wicked prairie people! <laughs> you sure? As sure as I'm text are terrible! Buzz. Say, what's the trouble, little bar? Oh, Mouse, you brave star. <laughs> Why, them, them people call you squiddles. Really, people never hurt none of them. I know that, Fuss. You see, when things go wrong, some people just have to blame others. And they usually pick on somebody who can't protect himself. But I won't let anything bad happen. They'll get over it. Why, everybody knows that the prairie people are the gentlest, the most peaceful. That's the alarm from JB's office. Get 3030 and meet me there. What do you want? How dare you burst in here waving a gun? Knock off the trickies. Let's go. Get moving. No. That away. You'll regret this, Buster, I promise. Ducky, talkies, 
You hushing up! Hold it. Now throw down your weapon. Answer that bushwhacker, Sarah. Hey! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Hit JB. What nerve those blasted little critters took JB. Mouse, you called us critters? No, Fuzz, I, I didn't mean that. Honest. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure those were real prairie people. Well, them critters looked like prairie people to us, Marshal. And they just captured JB. Still feel like protecting them, Marshal? Buzz, I'm sorry. Critters just slipped out. Fuzz understands. You, you upset about JB. Thank you, Fuzz. I think you was right. They're not real prairie people. Well, what else could they be? First they hog all the carrium, then they nab JB, and you're still protecting them. I'm not just jumping to conclusions. And I'm remembering what good friends the furry people have been to us in the past. Look, they send message cards. Greetings, Marshal Bravestar. We prairie people, sick of humans robbing planets. We now demand that you delivering all carrium in town to us, or we keep judge prisoner forever. <laughs> You hear that? The nerve of them varmints. Ransom! Uh, we've had all we're gonna take from them crooked little sand rats. Yeah, we're gonna go out there and drive them into the Badlands. <laughs> My hunch is that you're a lot more interested in carrying them than in saving JB. Just remember, this is still the law's business. If I need your help, I'll ask for it. Hmm. These people won't carry him so bad they don't care who they hurt. Seems that when some people have problems, they like to blame it on people who are different from them. We'd better get moving before there's more trouble. But I like trouble. I have a feeling you're gonna get it. Now let's go. Ready, stop! Take and judge JB. Rick was a marshal. I say 
we ride out there and handle them critters ourselves? Yeah. We'll rescue JB. Yeah. Eat all the terium. between us and the natives once in the K-Flux galaxy. Only we was on the receiving end that time. What do you mean, old timer? Well, there was fewer of us humans on that planet, so anytime anything happened, we was the ones that got blamed. Dad taught me a lesson, though. Never judge a thing until you slithered a mile in its trail. You really don't know how somebody feels until you have experienced what they have. Hmm, good advice. You think the marshal can get the judge back from him? He's kind of sweet on her, ain't he? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Ah, oh, come on. You guys are friends. He would have told you. Nobody around, you can tell me. Well, he did say the other day. What the life. Oh, oh drat. <laughs> is about to be declared. The mutants are gonna attack the prairie people. <laughs> We're gonna get all the carry-on. Huh? <laughs> oh, she got away, thing never. That female judge is making me mad. <laughs> My turbo stallion and my hammer. What's that? Broke us all bones. This calls for a special explosion. It's JB, and it looks like she's in trouble. I'd say we got here not a moment too soon. Come on, big partner. Let's ride. Today, Hex, strength of the bear. Another time, brave star. Well, that takes care of Hex for a while. Now to try to keep those prospectors from attacking the prairie people. I think maybe I've got just the thing to convince them. Let's go. Let them have it, boys! Ready? Aim! 
Bar! I told you boys this was the law's business, and I meant it. Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Mouse whips, though. You ought to keep out of this, Marshal. We're gonna punish them little prairie rats for taking JB. You mean me? Thanks for your concern, boys, but we've got the varmints. Texas robots. Oops. I think you three owe the prairie people an apology. Guess you're right, Marshal. That carrion fever made us plumb loco. It was wrong of us to blame the prairie people for our problems. Uh, I'd, I'd sure like to apologize. Huh? <gasps> was very wise today. What he told Fuzz was good advice. You see, when things go wrong, some people just have to blame others. And they usually pick on somebody who can't protect himself. This is important lesson for everyone. If you've done something wrong, don't try to put the blame on someone else. It will just make things that much harder when the truth comes out. Now, it's here. The excitement, the adventure of a new force at breakfast. We'll call them C-3PO's. New C-3PO cereal from Kellogg's. Twin rings, face together. For two crunches and every double O. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Now you can experience the taste of Kellogg's C-3PO's. A crunchy new force at breakfast. May the force be with you. Cobra Star on our plans. He's escaping in the Viper Glider. Joe, catch him. It's the G.I. Joe, Falcon Glider, flying high in the sky. Sailing through the air, he's America's fighter. G.I. Joe can fly. He's a Joe. real American hero, flying high in the sky. He's chasing Cobra in a desperate race. Soaring and diving in a great sky chase. He did, Joe. G.I. Joe, Falcon Glider, and Cobra Viper Glider sold separately. Figures included from Hasbro. Hey, I'm not going to lie. This is so cool. Micronaut and Rom are headed back to Marvel. At least for some reprint. Um, I am a sucker for Rom, and I am also a sucker for Micronaut. Uh, I mean, shoot. Michael Golden did the covers. Uh, Chaken, Milgram did the interiors. Um, and yet, this is the only reason that we have not got Bug in the uh, MCU is because Bug, however, was never a Micronaut toy, but he was in the Micronaut comics. So Marvel can continue to use Bug, but there's these weird loopholes. So, yeah. But I hope you are, guys are still digging uh, Brave Star. So this week, I'm not going to lie, this week uh, I'm sitting there going through this and... Uh, it's like the all hero week, um, you know, to the rescue type stuff, because you know we did Lone, we did Lone Ranger, we've done Zora, we've done Brave Star, and a lot of these other ones coming up, man, are in the super or in the hero genre. Maybe not superheroes, but at least in the hero genre, they're maybe saving the day in their own way. So we did Zoro in filmation, we did Brave Star filmation. Now we're heading over to Filmation's Ghostbusters. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I've talked about how much I like this cartoon, how fun it is. Um, me and me and one of my customers were talking about it. He goes, man, he goes, I liked it. I had the toys. And then my friends would be like, oh, it's go not the real Ghostbusters. But it was cool, man. Who cares? They were fun. They transformed. They had very He-Man-esque villains. <laughs> Um, I, I love the characters, uh, 
it worked. Yeah, we got the one season. It was a one and done. But it's still there, man. And it's still... I got, I got, I got a soft spot in my heart for it. So we're going to bring you Filmation's Ghostbusters. And this is the episode, Witches Stew. Enjoy. Let's go! Ticket, I uh, no. What's that? Jessica's nephew Corky just saw a witch. Sure, we're interested. Let's go, go,
Ouch! Lose some weight, you overstuffed furball! <laughs> <laughs> They're taking the bait. Old Duke of Darkness, look. <laughs> Those fools? This is easier than I thought it would be. Right again, old master of malice. <laughs> Soon the ghost bozos will be at the haunted house in Salem. Where we can steal the dematerializer. <laughs> Right you are, Bratterat! Ha 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 Roadhog! Salem has been a ghost center for hundreds of years. The witch might have come through a time zone. Maybe we should call Futura. I'll tell Futura to meet us in Salem. Futura, coming from the future to meet the ghost bunglers. Those fools can't do anything by themselves. No matter. She will arrive in Salem, all right, but in the past... In 1692, the year of the Great Witch Hunt. <laughs> Brethren, there be witches among us. Look around. Do you see them? They're all around us. And when we catch them, we'll tar them, feather them, and run them out of town on a rail. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears open. If you see a witch, tell me. Pretty quiet. Yeah, maybe we ought to forget it. Come on, you guys. We've got ghost busting to do. Excellent. I have them when I want them. Now, while the witch scares the wits out of them, I'll steal the ghost dematerializer. I'm after you. I wouldn't think of it. Yeah. Quiet, you clowns! So far, so good. What was that? <laughs> Will you stop the monkey business? No offense, Tracy. When we find a ghost, you'll know about it. Don't worry. <laughs> I think we just did! <laughs> the Witch of Salem! Come to me, my lovely! Oh, me? No, I think she wants you, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> For action! Now! He stepped inside the house! Switch on the scare way! I'll do it, you emperor of evil! Hey! 
what they'll get if they show their ugly faces in Salem. Place the witch in the stocks. Oh, hold on a minute, guys. Let me out! Never, witch. Be on your guard. The witch may have friends. size 12s were too big. Hmm. These are nice. Uh, do you have these in a ten and a half? Get the hence evil spirit. Evil spirit? Where? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look, I don't know who you think we are, but we're not evil spirits. Oh, yes you are. And you're in cahoots with that strange witch. Hi, guys. I'm glad you could come. <laughs> Get her out of those things, Trace. Okie dokie. Stop. Thanks, Tracy. to the town hall and tar and feather them. Not without a trial. Yeah, we demand a trial. Look, oh wizard of wickedness. The townspeople will take care of the Ghostbusters for us. <laughs> don't be so quick with your hee-hee-hees, Bratarat. We still don't have the dematerializer. I've got an idea. What? I'm the only one who's allowed to have ideas around here. Yes, sir. Oh, General of Grief, anything you say. Now, here's the plan. The ghost busters will be tried as evil spirits. But they're not evil spirits. Exactly, Bat Brett. But the jury will be... <laughs> will be my evil spirits. Don't worry, guys. No jury will convict us. Silence! You stand accused of being evil spirits. What have you to say in your defense? I'm not guilty, Judge! We'll see what the jury has to say about that. The jury may retire to reach its verdict. I think we will already reach the verdict, you are now. Guilty. Guilty! Guilty! Guilty. Guilty. Just as I thought. Guilty. Wait a minute. There's something fishy here. We better unmask that jury. Trace, sneak the dematerializer out of your ghost pack. I'll set the dematerializer on low voltage and blow away those disguises. A 
is here. They've got the dematerializer. Let's get out of here. We can't let them get away. Let's go, Ghostbusters! <laughs> They're all evil spirits. Don't let them get away. You miserable germs! Look! It's Prime Evil himself! <laughs> that must be the leader after him! Foolish humans! <laughs> Futura and the other poor people you call witches. But, but, but I thought you were evil spirits too. Nope. Our job is to get rid of evil spirits. Send them into limbo where they can't bother anyone. Then I was wrong and I must make up for it. Uh, 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 maybe if we worked together. You bet. We can start right now. No, Jake. It won't dematerialize him. He's too strong. But it'll slow that bozo down. And now, my bratty little rodent, I'll show you how to deal with the ghost... busters. <laughs> you think that dematerializer toy can bother me, the master of evil? <laughs> Wizard of wickedness! My gonna doom! <laughs> the dematerializer might not send you into limbo, Prime Evil, but it's dried up enough of your evil power so that the townspeople can handle you. What? <laughs> Materializers taken my strength away. Let me go. What a mess. Bradrat, oh, Bradrat, help your own master. Please! No chance, boss! Black and white aren't my colors, -y. <laughs> You'll pay for this! All of you! I think he's had enough. Let's link my jewel with a dematerializer. It should give us enough power to send him back to hunt quarters. It's worth a try. Here goes nothing! I'll get you, ghost! You just you! He won't bother you again, at least not for a while. And we won't be looking for witches behind every bush. You've helped us learn something about understanding and tolerance. Guess it's time to head for home. Right. <laughs> I think we can say that this house has definitely been de-ghosted. Boy, I'm glad we bought it. Dad says we'll be all moved in by tomorrow. Are you scared that they might come back? Nope. Y you know what? I, I don't think we ever have to worry about ghosts. They can't do anything bad to us. Are you sure? Yep. 
And if they try, well, we'll just say, let's, let's go, go Ghostbusters! In today's story, the people in Old Salem weren't afraid of witches. They were afraid of the unknown. Uh, that's something I can understand, because, well, uh, I'm a little bit afraid of the dark. But I'll bet you're not afraid once the lights have been turned on. Of course not. Then it's not the dark you're afraid of, Belfry. It's what you can't see, the unknown. I get it. Once I learn about something, I don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, I like it. Try it. You will, too. You drugs. What is it with you guys? Just say no. Ah, uh, that's Jenny. But that's not Jenny's dad. If she gets into that car, that may be the last time you'll see Jenny. I'm McGruff, the crime dog. See those kids? Every day in this country, 60 kids disappear. Some run away, but a lot are kidnapped by strangers. Or even by people they know. So write to McGruff. And teach your kids to protect themselves. Help uh, take a bite out of crime. So, reading some old uh, Firestorm. I wish we'd get this Firestorm back again. I love that version of Firestorm. But, hope you guys are still digging Filmation's Ghostbusters. But on that note... We're doing some real Ghostbusters with probably one of my favorite episodes that's not Cthulhu related. Um, I love this one because it is the Ghostbusters cartoon and they're making the Ghostbusters movie. So I, I just think this is it's meta, man. Back when we were little kids and it was meta. So I dig it. This is real Ghostbusters. This is episode 10. And this is take two. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
telling you, Sam, the excitement is so thick here, you could cut it with a knife. The plane with its very special passengers was supposed to leave half an hour ago. Everyone's wondering the same thing. Where are the Ghostbusters? <coughs> Ray, the airport is the other direction. Ray? Just one more. We almost got him. It's like talking to a fish. It's a chartered jet, Peter. It's physically impossible to be late for a plane that won't leave without you. Right. Besides, we'll have this guy wrapped up in five seconds. Three, two, one, now! <laughs> uh, we're um, <laughs> uh, running out of time, but uh, uh, the Ghostbusters should be here any time. Uh, meanwhile, let's take uh, uh, another look at this brief history of the Ghostbusters. I hope they can make it. Yeah, but the boys said they'd stop by and say goodbye before they left for California. Bye. 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 Wait, fellas! Bye. 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 You gotta... Stow away. On second thought, serves them right. Ghostbusters, no, they're not here. That's right, they went to California to make a movie and they didn't take me with them so I can answer your crummy call. Okay, start the celebrations. The Ghostbusters are... Hey, where's everybody? I'll tell you where they are. They went home. Everybody's gone. They even cut off my live feed. Do you have any idea what I look like? Only a fool would stick around for this. Yay. You know, I'll just bet you have a high sugar diet. I know. I hate this business. What? We're on? Live? Network? Wait, wait, come back. Uh, this is the, I mean, that is, I mean, that was, uh, the Ghostbusters were just, um, a, a second ago, the crowds were absolutely, oh, my career is over. Yay. Crazy about me, I can tell. Hmm. Is that why she threw your luggage off the plane over Cleveland? There's nothing I can't replace. Mm. Hey, wait a minute. These are all empty. It's like somebody ate them. Wait a minute. Who could eat a bunch of honey peanuts without opening the package? Slimer! Suppose you'd like to take care of him while we... No, I didn't think so. Hollywood! Here we go! And I'd like to welcome you to the studio. Wow! This is really fantastic! It looks just like the real thing! That's why we wanted you here to advise us, make sure we're doing it right. After all, this is your life story. No problem, as long as you got the right people to play us. Admit it, Redford was dying to play me, right? Not exactly. Here's the cast list. Murray, Aykroyd, and Ramos? Was that a law firm? 
And that's the script. We'd love your advice as long as we don't have to change anything. Now, if you'll follow Bob, he'll show you the rest of the studio. How's it look? Well, it's in English. Is that good or bad? Okay, now we've got human stuff to do. So you wait here and stay out of trouble, okay? You're sure the trap door was supposed to be here? Yeah, but it hasn't been opened in 20 years. Since that big accident back in. That's got it. Come on, let's get the equipment. And this, of course, you'll recognize as the garage, the office. Uh, let's see, was it... Uh, oh, yeah, this way. And this is, uh, the containment unit? No, wait, it, it must be this way. Uh, I'm so sorry, but that's the wrong answer. You don't win the washer-dryer, but you do get a wonderful consolation prize. Uh, Peter, there's something here. Yes, that's right. Here it is. Your own genuine, authentic... Monster? Yeah! So that's what's behind door number three. Look out! It's gonna jump! Now! Stop! Huh? Stop! Cut! That's a machine, you fool! Yes, Ray? I think we just made a slight error in judgment. Good guess. Get these men off my set! We are making a movie here! Space Avengers of the Galaxy! Nobody blows up anything in my movie unless I tell them to! Now just hang on here a minute! Nobody talks to us like that! We're the Ghostbusters! And I am a director! I talk to anybody any way I want! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Seen anyone do that to a man's pants before? Yeah, well, I still say you should have let me blast them. The proton beams are only supposed to be used on ghosts. I can take care of that. Uh, uh, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, don't change the subject. Uh, it, it might be a good idea to leave your proton packs uh, someplace uh, safe. Hey. Look at all this equipment, just like the stuff at home. Uh, except that they're props. Uh, none of them work. They just look the same. If you leave your packs here, nobody will bother them. Uh, you can leave that, too, if you like. Not if you paid me. Strange. For a second, I seemed to get a reading, and then it was gone. Must be all the electrical equipment around here. And now, if you'll just come this way, there are some people just dying to meet you. Okay, this is the place. Deliver prop proton packs, it says. Done. Eight protons. Wait, eight? It says here four. They want four, they get four. Come on, give me a hand getting these things back into storage. Funny, these are heavier than the others. Oh well, let's go. Are you finished yet? I need the Megazoid in working order for the next shot. Will you be quiet? <laughs> What the? Where are you going? We have a movie to make. It's just a machine. A fake? Nothing personal, of course. Same stunt twice. Yeah, yeah, very impressive. Peter, I think you should know I'm getting very high readings off that thing. Mm-hmm. Next thing you'll be telling me there's a ghost inside it. Precisely. Bob, can you lead us back to our packs? 
I'd say that's a yes, wouldn't you? Okay, well, I'm ready. Let's get that thing. Okay, Buster, I hope you have a hall pass, because otherwise you're in a lot of trouble. Okay, let him have it! What? Fakes! They're props! Well, Peter, you were right. Someone is in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, you forgot to say it's us. I'm sorry, sir. There's been a slight problem. We've had to evacuate everyone from the studio. But the Ghostbusters are on the scene. I'm sure they have everything well in hand. Ray, can I speak with you for a moment? Out! Watch where you step in! Yeah, what is it? Any ideas on how we can get out of this? Yeah, several. Good. Unfortunately, they all call for us to be about 3,000 miles east of here. If I can make a suggestion, I've adjusted my PKE meter and the spare to pick up the particle beam energy of our proton packs. Terrific! So if we split up into two teams, we increase the chance of finding them faster. Exactly. It'll give the survivors a much better chance. The survivors, Egon? And you wonder why you're not invited to more parties. All right, let's go. The door is open. The door is open. The door is open. The door is open. Quiet. The door is a mess. The car is a mess. The... I said quiet! where they make all the deadly Dr. Crowley movies. Uh-huh. Now you think we can keep... You don't understand. These are classics. This is where he first brought his creature to life. By just pressing this button. Wow. Look at this stuff. This is great. And over there, that's where the monster rose when he brought it to life. Oh, man. I'll never forget that scene. The monster was huge. Frightening big as life and twice as ugly. And then, then when Dr. Crowley saw the monster, he stepped back in horror and he said, Quiet. No, no, he said, I think we better get out of here. That's it. That's what he said. Was that great or was that... Whoa! That stuff about being as big as life and twice as ugly? I didn't... I mean, it was just... I told you those movies were bad for you. Keep It Quilted means you keep it the best. Three layers of plush comfort you can see and feel. Keep It Quilted because the best parts of your life deserve the best. They're here. So don't settle for anything less. Keep It Quilted with Quilted Northern. What is it, Egon? Did you find our stuff? Not exactly. Here, look at this. What do you make of it? Well, it's dark and it's deep. I'd make it a hole, but that's just an opinion, you understand. Exactly. This is where the ghost was hiding. According to these readings, it was a sleeping ghost. Certain kinds of ghosts spend eternity looking for a nice, quiet place to sleep. When they're awakened, they're very cranky. So you think... It's noise that makes this thing violent. Almost certainly. I better warn.
warn the others. Come in, Ray. Come in, Ray. You there? Yeah, Peter. What do you want? Shh, shh. Stop that. Ray, it hates noise, so be quiet, okay? Oh, okay. Got it, Peter. Over and out. You know, Winston, I was thinking. Maybe losing our proton packs was a good thing. Maybe we should defeat this thing with our wits, our courage, our imagination, our... You're right. Let's find those proton packs and blow this pop stand. That's it. They've got to be in there. Not bad. If you could do that with lost keys, we could make a fortune. Right. Winston, we found him. We'll meet you back at the firehouse set. If you see it, try and get the thing to follow you. I, uh, don't think that'll be a problem, Peter! It's about time you got here. I've got a two million dollar Megazoid in there. Those Ghostbusters are gonna ruin it. We'll stop that thing our way, without damaging it. Now let's go! Hey, glad you could make it. Did you find you-know-who? <laughs> Ask a silly question? Trouble. <laughs> Look out below! Peter! Egon! In case of monster attack, always head for a doorway. This concludes our safety tip for today. Ray, now! Yeah! Noise! Too much noise! Be quiet! Noise? Mister, you ain't heard nothing yet. It's up in the catwalk. Get it! No! Fire up there and we'll bring the whole place down on us. Wait. Let it make the next move. There! Blast him! Oh, oh. Blast him. Ray, wouldn't it have been a lot easier on our wardrobe to just get out of the way? Kind of got carried away, I guess, huh? <laughs> If only we could make it understand that in the final analysis, we're trying to help it. There's no place quieter than the containment unit at home. It'd have all the peace and quiet at once. Maybe. But how do you explain that to something you can't talk to because it gets mad at the noise? Of course. That's it. Why didn't I see it earlier? Egon? Egon, put that back on. What do you think you're doing? This is no time to give up, Egon. I'm not. But if I'm wrong, you're going to need that. Cover me, but don't do anything unless I say so. Okay, I'm here. Come on down. <laughs> no, the man said to wait. We'll give him a shot. I just wish I knew what he was planning. I think I know. And if I'm right, it's brilliant. I knew it. He's using sign language. That way, he doesn't have to make any noise. What's he saying? <laughs> yeah, I knew I should have learned that stuff a long time ago. Look, he's saying, please trust us. We can give you the silence you want. <laughs> Come out and let us help you. Are we? Absolute quiet for the next ten seconds. There it is! There's my machine! Protect it from that thing! Get it! Crumbs. Okay, fire! Keep it steady. Just another second. Steady. Steady. 
One pain in the neck down, one to go. Don't do it, Pete. He's not worth it. I had to protect my investment. This machine is worth $2 million. Yeah, well, these guys could have been hurt in the process. Did you ever think of that? I've got a movie to make, and we've got to stay on schedule. For that, I need my machine in one piece. Look out! My movie! My fortune! My... Hmm. Kind of reminds me of your last movie. I, 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 hey, I, cheer up. <laughs> Maybe we'll send you a couple of tickets to our movie when it comes out. Ah! I know we're running out of time, Sam. In fact, the premiere of the Ghostbusters movie started 30 seconds ago, so I'm sure they'll be here any second if you could just hold on. What? Hey, sorry to be late for the premiere of our own movie, but we ran across four full torso vapors, and we just couldn't... Forget it! We're off the air! I can't believe you did this to me again. Again! I'm going home now! Good night! The price of fame, guys. Now let's go. I'm going to turn over the next card, and I want you to tell me what it is. You know, he doesn't look a thing like me. Watch me scare Fred out of his pebbles. Yo, Martians! <laughs> Delicious. Barney! Whoops. Got a blast on? Post Pebbles cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Now from Pebbles, you can get a Fred Flintstone flying disc. For Barney. Or Dino. For fun with a twist, it's a Flintstone flying disc. What an especially marked box of Post Fruity or Cocoa Pebbles cereal. Sidewinder, the wheels twist behind her. Try and catch me. It's the big new Sidewinder cycle. Your parents put it together. And Sidewinder's got the stunt shifter. Sidewinder. With sure grip steering, super sleek styling, and a stunt shifter that can spin you into excitement. Sidewinder, the wheels twist behind her. Sidewinder cycle with stunt shifter. New from Tonka. Ah, uh, so when you guys see the camera get knocked over and bumped, this is one of the reasons. This is Courage. He is my little rescue corgi. I love him to death. Uh, I am uh, a doggy daddy. Nah, I don't. I don't say that. They're my bubble. They're my puppies, aren't you? Yes. Then we get the other puppy. Go lay down. So, I, I, I made a horrible mistake. I just paid attention to the dogs while filming. So, <laughs> all right. I hope you guys still dig Real Ghostbusters. Um, I love the fact that it goes to the end and they show actual live-action scenes from the Ghostbusters movie. That's funny. I love that. And uh, it's got one of my favorite catches in there, so... I, this is, like I said, one of my favorite episodes. The fact that we get a snippet of the real live-action Ghostbusters movie in an episode of the real Ghostbusters. I love that. So, I guess we... I should have edited this differently, but I'm going to do it this way. Um, we're going back to Filmation with uh, one of the big four. That's right. You got your, your, your Transformers. You got your He-Man. You got your Thundercats. Ah. He-Man. So, we're doing He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. 
And uh, this is episode 15, and this is Prince Adam No More. And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Men at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Don't, don't send me away from Snake Mountain. Silence, you funny fool. I've had it with your whining and bumbling. You're finished here, do you understand? Cast out. Vanished. Say, what's beast man dubbed anyway? Nothing. Skeletor's had one too many defeats from He-Man, and he's taking it out on poor old Fuzzface. Just be thankful that's not you down there. Your whip. Beast man. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, your seat at the council table. Get out, go, and don't let me see your mangy hide around here again. <sighs> All right, I'll go, but I'll be back. Oh, you will. Yes, I'll show you all the true power of Beast Man. You haven't seen the last of me! adjustments are done. <laughs> the attack track's ready for the King's Royal Tour of Eternia. That's great! When do we get started? We don't. The King will be going alone on this tour, accompanied only by me and his mightiest, most courageous warrior. <clears throat> you, Prince Adam? Well, I'm hoping he picks me as his guard. Oh, fair. I want to go, too. I'm real helpful. You can be a big help by staying out of the way. Won't cause any trouble, I promise. Yay! Orko, he's trapped inside. Let me out! Voice scan negative. You are not recognized. You are an intruder. Which one is the turn off switch? I think we need a little help. By the power of Grayskull! trouble with the attack track, sire, but He-Man is taking care of it. He-Man! Attack 
Amtrak, this is He-Man. Cease all functions immediately. Voice scan positive. He-Man confirmed. All functions cease. Last stop, everybody out. <laughs> You said you wanted to help? He-Man! I saw how you rescued Orko. That was very brave. Thank you, sire. I'm just glad that no one got hurt. You do a great service to Eternia, young man. We are proud you are on our side. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> So you still think you'll be the king's escort, eh? Sure, why not? Well, sometimes he hasn't been too pleased with you. You know, as Adam, I may act like a goof now and then, but, well, that's only to keep my secret. Besides, I'd never really do anything to make my father ashamed of me. Hmm, I hope he knows that. Adam, Duncan, I called you in to tell you that I have made the choice for my honor guard escort. The young man I've selected has won the admiration of myself and our people many times over. He-Man. He-Man? Duncan, you've had great success in summoning He-Man before. Would you please contact him now? Of course, Your Majesty. But, Father, I... Well, I thought you and I might make this trip together. Really, Adam? But you've never shown any interest in state affairs. Sorry, son. I'm afraid on this trip I'll need someone a bit more experienced and reliable. I see. You seem troubled, Adam. How can I help? For a long time, I've had the power of He-Man, but to keep that power a secret, I've had to pretend, you know, to be careless and irresponsible. More than anything, I want to give up that disguise and make my father proud of me. I understand your sorrow, Adam, but you must also recognize the responsibility your power brings. If Skeletor or any of He-Man's other enemies learned your secret, they would not rest until they had destroyed you or the ones you love. Yeah, well, I can't endanger my family, but I can make my father respect me without telling him my secret. You must do what you think is right, Adam, but be careful. After all those years of service, Skeletor just throws me out. Why, that skull-faced creep! Where does he come off pushing me around? I'm still Beast Man, right? The master of all the animals, right? You there, Bushtail! Bring me down that fruit and make it snappy! Oh, let's face it, without the power of Snake Mountain behind me, I'm nothing. What's that? I still think He-Man would have been a better choice for this trip. But, Father, I'm going to be king one day. I'll have to learn how to run the kingdom. Just remember, Adam, we're on an important journey. We'll have no time for your antics on this trip. I know, Father. You can count on me. Ah, it's the king. And with no guards, either. Why, if I could capture him, Skeletor would gladly take me back. Come on, you beasts! We've got work to do. What's the first stop, Duncan? The city of Drizdos lies on the other side of this forest. We should be there in a few hours. What's that? Shadow beasts. They've shorted out our generator. We're defenseless and, and losing power. Stay down, Father. 
father. I'll handle this. Adam, wait! Come back! This freeze ray will slow them down. Oof. Well, look here. It's the cowardly Prince Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Let us go, Beast Man, or you'll pay for this. Sorry, Prince. It's you who's going to pay if you ever want to see your father a free man. Bring all the gold from the palace to Snake Mountain tonight. Do as I say, or the king will never leave Skeletor's dungeon. <laughs> Let me go. Father, and just so you don't try to follow us, we'll be long gone before that wears off. <laughs> right this way, Your Majesty. <laughs> You furry devil, you'll never get away with this. Who's going to stop me? That weakling son of yours? When he shows up tonight, I'll get him and all your gold, too. <laughs> Monster, if you touch one hair on that boy's head. Yeah. Yeah, come on. You've got a date with Skeletor. <laughs> Space. He took the others with him. I got stuck with guard duty. Well, what do you say? We lock up our guests and celebrate my return. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine, but the king. I know. He's Beast Man's prisoner. Why didn't you turn to He-Man, lad? I wanted to show my father that I could be a hero, too. But I failed. Look, son, you were given He-Man's power for a reason, to help others. No one ever said you could use that power to make yourself happy. I know that now. And I know what I have to do. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> You stay here and get the attack track rolling again. I think this is one mission He-Man should tackle himself. To Beast Man, the craftiest of Skeletor's warriors. Next to myself, that is. Actually, I'm surprised you came back, considering the way you were treated. Thank <laughs> you. 
King Randor, are you in there? I guess not. He-Man? Down here. He-Man, praise the sorceress. Shh, quiet, your highness. With any luck, I'll have you out of here and back to safety before the others know you're gone. <laughs> then again... The prisoner alarm! The king has escaped me! Skeletors have a robots will bring him back! You'd better let me handle this, sire. What? And miss a good scrap? I never told Adam or Man at Arms, but I used to be quite a rowdy in my youth. Uh, wouldn't Adam be surprised if he could see me now? Yes, he would. <laughs> fought like that since I was a boy. Nice to know I still have the old left hook. Beastman didn't hurt my son, did he? No, he's fine. I love that boy, you know. I'm hard on him sometimes, but I hope he knows how much I care. It's hard for a father to say, I love you, to his son. Sometimes it's hard for Adam to say that, too. This way, sire. You go nowhere, fool. You're not spoiling my victory, He-Man. to sneak up on people. I guess we showed them. Let's go, Your Highness. Adam will be happy to see you. Faced creep thinks that loudmouthed. Uh, if I ever see his ugly face again, it will be too soon. You furry flea bitten fool, I'll cover my throne with your hide. Skeletor, I, but I can explain everything. And so you will once you clean up this mess. You too, man. Get busy. Well, I hope you're a happy fool. Now we're both in trouble. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of nice to be home. I see the attack track's no worse for wear after our little meeting with the Shadow Beasts. And you're no worse for wear after your encounter with Beast Man. Thanks to He-Man. You could learn a lot from him, Adam. I think I already have. Now, what does that mean? Nothing, Father. I... Do I look like the kind who'd argue with someone with a good left hook? No, I guess not. What? I wonder. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. Today's story 
It was about love. A very special kind. It was about the love a parent has for a child. And I bet that's the strongest kind of love there is. Because for one thing, there's just about nothing that can change it. No matter what. Maybe like Adam's father, your parents find it a little difficult to say, I love you. Even so, you can be sure they do. Besides, let me ask you something. When was the last time you said, I love you to them? Bye! The beat and the band plays on. You can relive it all with Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Introducing size noodles and the Rebo Band. Jabba the Hutt action play set sold separately. Play it again, Sai. Starring size noodles. Droopy McCool on clarinet. Max Rebo on organ. Rib, rib it, Rebo. <laughs> Dance, Droopy. It's your last solo, Snoodles. Whoa. New size noodles in the Rebo Band. Jabba the Hutt action play set sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Fruit Corners Fruit Roll-Ups. Real fruit and fun rolled up in one. You can peel them, you can fold them. Fruit Corners! You can tear them, you can share them. Fruit Roll-Ups! You can rock them, you can roll them. You can really get to know them. Fruit Corners Fruit Roll-Ups are the chewy snacks made with real fruit that you unroll, peel, and chew. You can stretch them, you can chew them. Fruit Corners! You can pass them, you can glue them. Fruit Roll-Ups! Fruit Corners Fruit Roll-Ups, now in great tasting grape. You know, I don't know. I wish, I wish we would get the Serpent Society in an MCU movie. Uh, but I don't see it ever happening because, to be honest, uh, their superpowers are bonkers. Um, I mean, look at, look at some of these characters. Yeah. You got Constrictor, who's an on-again, off-again member. You got Death Adder. You got Sidewinder. You got Constrictor, you've got Asp, you got all these. I mean, this, look at that Puff Adder and Diamondback and Rattler and Rattler sounds like a He-Man cartoon. That's why it reminded me of that. I would love to see like the live-action versions of those characters. So, and uh, I have a question for you guys: What is your favorite He-Man vehicle? Not a play set, not a figure, vehicle. Is it the battle ram? Is it the rotor? Is it the um, uh, uh, falcon flyer? Is it the, the attack tracks? Just let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm a partial. I love me some battle ram. Because, man, when you're a poor kid, that's two vehicles in one. Two! So, I'm not going to lie. When you're, when you're a little poor kid... You, you make do with what you got, and you make as many vehicles as you can. So, and I probably got mine at a garage sale, because I know for a fact my mom didn't buy me one. <laughs> so, we're going to keep it in the Filmation He-Man universe, and we're going to kick it on over to She-Ra. Uh, She-Ra, some great villains. Uh, I think it's funny, because all the villains for She-Ra were He-Man villains in the toy line, in the comic book line. Uh, but She-Ra got all of... The horde villains in a cartoon and the weirdly none even the male figures were not like in scale to the other he-man figures which i think is a shame man that would have been a perfect opportunity to make a girl and boys toys that were completely compatible just saying mattel you dropped the ball on that one maybe now you're picking it back up you're making toys that are all in the same just scale, line, everything. So you learned your lesson, Mattel. Just letting you know. So this is Shira's episode six, and this is the duel at Devlin. Enjoy. <laughs> Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, 
for the honor of Grayskull. Others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madame Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. the party. Dance for us, citizen. <laughs> I beg your pardon, kind sir, but I, I can't dance. <laughs> then it's time you learned how. But you have to leave now. Either Darius has a lot of guts or he's playing stupid. <laughs> it's, it's all right, Darius. I'm having a wonderful time. You see, innkeeper, he's having a wonderful time. Perhaps you'd care to join him. <laughs> oh, no, no, please. Just finish eating and go. And don't worry about paying. The pie's on me. Hear that, my friends? The pie's on him. Shall we? <laughs> that queen's looking a little flat. I think it needs to be whipped. <laughs> Cristala, no! You leave my father alone! I think you need a lesson in how to respect your elders. Let us go, men. We've had enough fun for one night.
Would you like to try it? Maybe later, after breakfast. Well, I had better get back to Castle Chew. Goodbye, Adora. Have a safe trip. Good morning, all. Is breakfast ready? Oh, good morning, Sprague. Breakfast is coming right up. Ooh, now let's see. Oh, dearie my. What's a good spell for breakfast? Ah, I know. Razzle dazzle, spazzle shed. Make me a breakfast of fine big eggs. Oh, oh dearie my. I guess it didn't work. <laughs> Oh, yes, it did. Good morning, all. Hmm, I see breakfast is ready. Well, that's not the first time you've been caught with egg on your face. <laughs> oh, don't be so smug, Carl. <laughs> I have every right to be smug. I'm the only one who managed to keep my face clean. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, Marion is working on one of her magical breakfasts. So far, I'm still hungry. Ah, I've got it. Razzle de gook, dazzle de frank. How about a big, delicious pancake? Madam, you've done it again. Oh, dearie my. Perhaps a lot of little ones would have been better. I mean better. Run for cover! The giant pancake is after us! Mmm, <laughs> this is great, madam. You forgot the syrup! <laughs> Ready for our morning flight, Spirit? Of course. Going any place special? No, let's just wing it. <laughs> Very funny. Now for a little sword magic. For the honor of Greyskull! Captain Catra wants this field cleared immediately. Set the auto reader. All ready. Start it up. There's an inn just off the road. Let's get ourselves some food. Shouldn't we watch the Reaper? What for? It's programmed to do its job. Come on. <gasps> what could that be? What a beautiful day for flying. Shira, look. Down there. It's a horde auto reaper. Oh, no. It's headed right for that little girl. Dive, Swift Wind. Dive. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Help. 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 Quickly, child. On my back. This silly bucket of bolts doesn't know when to quit. My goodness! Who is she? That's Shira, the princess of power. Good work, Swift Wind. Hello there. My name is Shira. I'm, I'm Crystalla. How are you feeling? All right. Thanks to you. Now, why don't you tell me what you were doing here all alone? I was trying to get to Bright Moon to find the Rebellion. I need their help. Tell you what, why don't we just fly there on swift wind? If you're not frightened, that is. Could we? Really? You bet. 
Hold on tight. Here we go. Up, swift wind. Mean hordesmen will never stop bullying the people of our village. That's why I need your help. We'll help you, won't we? You bet. Uh, uh, right. We'll make pudding pie out of those horrid hordesmen. Just a minute. If our rebellion is to grow and succeed, villages like Crystallis are going to have to learn to stand up to the horde themselves. But they're too scared to do anything. Shira. Are you saying we're not going to help Crystalla's village? We're not, but I am, and I hope I can convince them to help themselves. Not to be afraid. When Bo and the others return, tell them what's happening. Come on, Crystalla. I'm taking you home. I... I don't understand. Uh-oh. Trust Sheila, dearie. She knows what she's doing. All right. Don't worry, Crystalla. Your village will get the help it needs. Up, swift wind! like the horde. Well, sometimes things are like that. But if we all work together, we can change things. Shira! Crystalla! Crystalla, where are you? Where do you think you're going? Do you have a pass to leave the village? No, sir. But I'm looking for my daughter. We can't find her. I know you. You're the innkeeper. Ah, oh, yes. The feisty little girl from last night. Someday she'll make a wonderful hordeswoman. What hordeswoman? Not my daughter, you rotten... <laughs> can't move. Swift wind. Hold on. These landings between trees are always a bit tricky. Good landing. You stay here. We'll be back soon, I hope. Call me if you need me. Look, someone's been frozen. It's my father. Let me go. Let me go. I have to help him. You can't, Cristala. If your hand touches that ice, it might freeze you. Stand back. Uh, I feel so... so weak. You'll feel better soon. Daddy? Cristalla, you're all right. Thank heavens. I was so worried. And thank you. You are most welcome. Come, we will help you walk. It was wise of you all to cooperate. The order for today is simple. You will go back to your houses and bring all your valuable possessions to the center of the square. We will be back to collect them later. No! Silence, or we will reduce your town to rubble like this. I suggest you get to work. <laughs> uh, what do we do? We must do as they say. Wait! Cristola! Darius! Who, who is this stranger? This is my friend Shira from the Great Rebellion. Cristola? How can you bring her here? The hordesmen will just make us slaves if they find out we have a rebel here. It seems to me that you're already slaves. As long as you give in to the horde, you will never be free. 
Shirai is here to help us stand up to the Hordesmen, so they'll never bother us again. I I'm sorry, Shira. We can't stop the Horde. We're not soldiers. I will lead you. After this battle, I promise the Rebellion will protect you. It won't be any good. Even if we beat those Hordesmen today, they'll just be others tomorrow. And you'll be ready to drive them back, too. I promise. Shira's right. We can beat them if we all join together. It's no use. We're no match for those bullies. You're just frightened. Yes, we are. But I guess that's the way we have to live. I'll stand with you, Shira. Thank you. But no. Please go inside your house and rest. Your wife and daughter will go with you. I want to stay with you. I can help. No, I must stand alone and prove to the others that the Horde can be beaten. <laughs> hey, madam, it's your muddle. <laughs> it has been for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, dearie my. I believe I've forgotten how to play. Then how come you just beat us four games straight? Hello, all. Where's the Dora? Oh, she's off somewhere. You know the way that girl likes to wander. So it's been a pretty calm day, huh? Yes! I mean, no. Shira went to help a little girl in some town. Oh, something about some horde bullies. What's the name of the town? Hmm. Dear me, my... Now the... Van... Vandalf... Vandal. Please, madam, think. No, dear me, my... Let me see. It was Devlin. Devlin, madam. That's what I said. Devlin. She might need us. Let's go. <laughs> it is amazing how easy it is to take advantage of people who are frightened. <laughs> What's the matter? Doesn't Hordak pay you enough dial him up? Shira! Ha! Not even you have enough power to battle all of us and our weapons. <laughs> what makes you think I'm alone? <laughs> These cowards won't lift a finger to help you. You're all alone. Then it's an even bigger challenge. And I love a challenge. Get her! Let's see how you ride without your machine. <laughs> She's wonderful. Yes, she is. A lot better than any of us are. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. She's fighting our battle. Maybe no one else is going to help Shira, but I am. Shira, look out behind you. No, Shira. Come on. She's ours. Let's get her. We can't let her fight our battles. And we can't live our lives in fear forever. I'm going to help her. Who's with me? us back our self-respect. No, you got it back yourselves. You were wonderful. Oh, Shira, I'm glad we found you. Where are they? Where who? The Hordesmen. Come on, we're ready for action. So are we all. Now? I don't understand. We didn't either, but now we do. When good people stand together, 
they can work miracles. Kids, how many guys out there, girls, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you had ripoffs? The shoe that had a little decal thing that popped off the side so you could decorate your shoes. I decorated my shoes with markers when I was a little kid, and then I got yelled at by my parents because I was marking on my shoes. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I know, man. You know, we were cheap. And now that's a whole thing, having graffiti looking shoes. Just saying, I was way ahead of my time doing that stuff in the in the eighties. So Alright. Hope you guys dig Shira because we are going to go over changing changing gears a little bit, heading into a different type of animation because we're going Terra Hawks. Uh yeah, we're doing some uh puppet mation. Uh I don't know if I said this before, but um, I don't remember watching much Puppet Mation on Saturdays uh, in our local area. Puppet Mation cartoon, cartoons, cr Puppet Mation shows were mostly Sunday fair or early, early weekday fair. Um, so I remember watching like Thunderbirds or Go, uh, Captain Scarlet, stuff like that. Um, I don't remember watching any of that on Saturday mornings, but. I'm bringing it to you on Saturday morning, so I guess it's now a Saturday morning show. <laughs> so, I want you guys to sit back, get your big glass of milk, get you some donuts, get your bowl of cereal, watch some Terra Hawks. And this is Terra Hawks episode Trace, and this is Thunder Roar. But, but before we go, so y'all know I like Fleetwood Mac, I know. It's not a metal thing to like, but I do like Fleetwood Mac. And I've been re-listening re to Dreams. And when Stevie Nicks goes, it only thunders when it rains. That's a lie. Um, because I'm sitting there the other day at the shop, and it's thundering and lightning to be heck, and there is no rain yet. I mean, somewhere, I'm sure there is. But then uh, last summer, it was thundering and lightning, and never once a drop of rain. So, Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac, you're liars. You're good singing liars, but you're liars. <laughs> but here you guys go. This is Terra Hawks, and this is Thunder Roar. Enjoy. Terra Hawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency.
youngster, my son. So I am Lord of Feverly, wishes to see you before he departs. Is the ship prepared? Yes, mother. All is ready. Come forward, my lord Shrek. Flaming thunderbolts. Didn't expect you, sir. That's obvious. What do you think you're playing at, Zero? I was playing your video game, sir. Get out of there. What's the matter? I come in here, and what do I find? Zero's playing my game. That's not so terrible. What did you score, Sergeant Major? 820, Mom. And I hadn't finished. What? That's higher than... Higher than your best ever score, Tiger? 820? I don't believe it. He can't lie. He's just a machine with limited intelligence. Isn't that what you always say? Well, what I meant to say was... Was... Flaming thunderbolts. Smite the Terrorhawks with your thunder! We've got an intruder. I'll check it, sir. We have a contact. Alien spaceship. Sensors? They indicate it's manned, but unarmed. Mm. We can't take any chances. Knock it out, hero. Ten-ten. Stand by. Fire! in space was that? I don't know, sir. But it was strong enough to lift this whole ship 45 degrees. Did we get it? Ten Coordinates to your computer. Go get it. Ten ten. We're locked on. Closing fast. Have visual contact. Ten ten. He's a sitting duck. Sitting duck. Some quack. We're going in again. They're attacking again? Yes, Zero. It's called courage, bravery, guts. They're human attributes. Fire as soon as we're in range, Hawkeye. Tan Tan. Deflecting our fire. Keep firing, Hawkeye. Aye, aye. Great shooting, Hawkeye. It's out of control. I want the crash location pinpointed. Crash position. I'm moving in. 10-10. 
take care. Set course. EDA, 17 minutes. Sensor readout. 10 0. Start a vector search. 20 mile radius. 10 10. I tell you, Tiger, whoever was aboard was almost certainly killed in the crash. Maybe. Do we go in and land? 10 10. No, wait. Expect the unexpected. We'll drop the battle tank. Eight feet. Twenty-seven. Twenty-one. Twenty. Go. report. No life form. The battle tank is going in closer, sir. <laughs> Nothing, sir. Kate? Search complete. 10-0. He's there somewhere. I know it. Take us down. We'll go in close in Terrahawk. I want to check out that wreck my rock pile to the west. I'm returning to Terrahawk. 1010. Battle tanks investigating. something at the entrance to that cave. <laughs> you? I am Sram, Lord of Felony. What do you want? You, Neinstein. Come to the cave and come alone. Negative. Einstein, I'm waiting. I'm on my way. No, you can't go. You've seen what he can do. But it's a trap. Of course it's a trap. <laughs> oh. 
Over here. <sighs> so, you are Neinstein, leader of the despicable Terrorhawks, protectors of the inhuman human race. Did Zelda send you? Zelda leads the fight for survival. Survival of all that's not human. Let me look at your wounds. No. I am dying. My strength is failing. But you will die with me, Neinstein. <laughs> about. Sram's dead, <coughs> but the entrance is blocked. Don't worry. We'll get you out. Fifty feet, Mom. Tiger, we'll be through to you in about fifteen minutes. Ten, ten. I can't seem to get my breath. Oxygen level normal. Estimate air supply will last for at least 12 hours. I still don't feel so good. Your temperature is rising. What is it, Tim? I don't know. We'll carry out full scan. Feet. Ten ten. I can't understand it. Wait, that could be it, Doctor. What is it? I'm picking up small quantities of an extremely toxic substance in your bloodstream. Where is it coming from? That's the problem. I don't know. It seems to be entering your respiratory system. Could this be it? Try and touch it, and I can analyze. That's it. It's evaporating into the air. Get away from it, Doctor. Fast. Medical emergency. What is it, Tim? Atmosphere toxic. The doctor's vital functions are failing. How long has he got? Two, maybe three minutes. How far to go? Another 45 feet, Mom. At least six minutes. There's one chance, Sergeant Major. You'll have to try and crash through. Right, Mom. Increase to maximum mass and gain as much acceleration as possible. Yes, Mom. Pulse weakening. <laughs> Breathing erratic. <laughs>
made it. I made it. Great work, Sergeant Major. We're sending in an airline. In the meantime, give him oxygen. Well, I never thought I'd be glad to see your face, Zero. Don't fuss, Mary. I'm fine. And thanks for getting me out of there. The Sergeant Major did the hard part. He was very brave, don't you think? Were you afraid, Zero? No, sir. Not at all. Well, to be courageous, first you've got to be afraid. It's a very human attribute. To be brave, you must be afraid? We have lost the battle. Yes, mother. Swam fought well. But lost. It would appear that humans can be very courageous. When they are defending themselves. Now I must rest. My powers are exhausted. <sighs> Look! Zelda reclaims her own. It's really scary. Sir, I'm pleased to say I'm now scared. Does it mean I'm now brave? No, it doesn't. To be brave, you have to be scared. And now that I'm scared, I'm not brave. The whole thing is totally beyond my comprehension. I think you are both brave. Let's go home. So, gotta bring us up because this week is the 37th anniversary of one of the most childhood destroying movies ever made. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Transformers the movie. Uh, I was a kid, went and seen it. I was 13. Um, so, yeah, I was 12 and a half. Um, went and seen that movie, messed with me a lot um and and it wasn't really optimus prime man um it was uh the death of the autobots where the decepticons started showing up to blast them that's crazy that you didn't see that in american television i mean outside of robotech but that was just one guy i mean it's a whole bunch of people so <laughs> so happy birthday to transformers the movie and uh as you can see i got rodimus prime and optimus prime here uh, I bought a Transformer collection for the shop. Usually, I tend for myself. I keep one one Transformer out of every collection I get. Usually, an Optimus Prime, uh, which, as you can see, is this one, which is the Powers of Prime. See, uh, look at that. Look at that. It's got Orion Pax in the back. He transforms and he folds into Optimus. So, but here's the thing. Did not intend to do this one. I got Rodimus here. 
who is Hot Rod, who turns into Hot Rod, then he turns into Rodimus. Joe and I spent a week trying to figure out how to transform him off and on and to get his arms. We figured it out mostly, but we couldn't get his arms to pop on. We were doing it a little bit wrong. Uh, once we got it all figured out, I was so aggravated that I didn't want anybody else to have this transformer after we finally figured it out. And now I have Rodimus Prime and Optimus Prime. Uh, the only other figure I did that was was one of the uh, uh, was it Transformers Cybertron with the armor. Uh, I finally got that complete and put all the armor on him. And by the time I did all that, I did not want to sell him. <laughs> so somewhere boxed up. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to move some stuff around and I'm going to put uh, my Optimus Prime shelf up because uh, that's really the only thing I keep out of Transformers nowadays. So I keep Optimus Primes. So. On that note, we're bringing you Transformer 7, Episode 7. And that episode is called Fire in the Sky. And this is the debut of a fan favorite Transformer. One I love, one you love. But we're going to leave that until the end of the episode. So here you guys go. Enjoy. <music> Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. The Transformers, robots in disguise. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. The Transformers. Biggest snowman I ever saw. <laughs> Not snowman, Spike. Snowbot. There's a flurry in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Jazz. I get the drift. <laughs> sensors for a worldwide weather report. Temperatures now 40 degrees below normal and falling rapidly. Entire planet freezing. The heat energy from the Earth's core is somehow being drained away. Megatron and the Decepticons. I bet they're behind this.
What's that? Something's frozen in the ice. Why are you standing around like lumps at a smelter? There's work to do. We... we found something. So you did. Starscream, I want a clearer look. You shall have it, leader. It appears to be a robot of unknown classification. With his size and probable strength, he will make an excellent Decepticon. light the sky spy just passed over heat loss at optimum level uh, then we found the source of earth's problem maybe some kind of natural phenomenon decepticon activity sighted if we don't stop megatron and his bunch the earth is doomed autobots transform and roll out <laughs> Circle, here we come! Whatever it is, being on ice kept it fresh, but not perfect. Impulse centers down. concerned about this creature because i knew him once a long time ago on cybertron again this time a million votes also cyber motor relays are useless memory monitor activating you knew him his name is skyfire observe his history as it was recorded before his icy imprisonment both explorers from Cybertron. That must have been shortly before our final falling out with the other ones. Yes. Skyfire and I were exploring what was an uncharted planet at that time. This one. Earth. We detected no intelligent life on the surface, but Skyfire insisted we look closer. A polar windstorm came up suddenly, and Skyfire and I were separated. I circled half the globe searching for him, but he was gone. And now, millions of Earth years later, you have found him. Cybertron. No. This is Earth, where you crashed many years ago. I am Megatron Skyfire, supreme leader of all Decepticons. We are on this planet to collect the energy we need to revive Cybertron and conquer the universe. And the Autobots are now our enemies. There they are, Optimus. Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. Aren't they terrific? Indeed. Very pleasing to my optic sensors. Forward, Autobots! And with this symbol, you, Skyfire, become a member of the exalted Decepticon forces. Hail, Cybertron! Hail, Cybertron! And destruction to all Autobots! Destruction? Put him on guard patrol! Are you happier being a warrior than a scientist, Starscream? Yes, it is far more exciting. And one day I, not Megatron, will lead us. And then you will be my second in command. 
I am grateful to you for freeing me from my tomb of ice. I shall try to bring you credit. Something's approaching from the south. Several unusual vehicles. Earth mechanisms, perhaps. It seems the time has come for me to make the change from science to war. We are near the location of the energy train. Prime, what is that? Halt! Identify yourselves! Autobots, transform! Autobots? You must be destroyed! The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Destruction to all Autobots! Hit the ice spike! He's gonna fire again! Unless one of the Autobots rescues us, we're done for. Optimus! Hound! Somebody! Help us! Hurry! Spike and Spark Plug are in trouble. They need us. We can't move while that big guy's got us pinned down. Help! Strange voices must be coming from Earth creatures. We try to communicate with them. Off of me! Let go of us, please! Help! Optimus Prime! Why are you so frightened? I will not harm you. Then why are you wearing the Decepticon symbol? Only the evil Autobots need fear me. The Autobots are not evil, they're good. They're fighting to protect our planet and all us humans. He's right. You Decepticons are the real monsters. No, no, that can't be true. I'll prove we are not evil. I'll take you to Megatron, my leader. He'll show you that you have nothing to fear. No, you might hit Spike and Sparkplug. We've got to find a safer way to rescue them. If there is one. Robot sympathizers may prove useful to our cause. Deal with them, Starscream. <laughs> you won't get away with this, Decepticron. Optimus Prime will save us. I promised the Earth creatures no harm would come to them. This is wrong. Then you overstepped your authority. Who are you to offer safety to our enemies, Skyfire? Enemies? But they are my... my friends. Do not interfere! I don't understand. The puny flesh creatures are insignificant. Once they cease being useful to us, they will be terminated. My function is to further science and learning. Not to destroy innocent life forms. Autobots, transform. Move in quickly and secure your positions. Go! What's wrong? Gears, move it! I got a tingle in my sensor links. Like we might be falling right into a trap. Carrying too much lead in his caboose. This freezing weather's icing my relays. My electro scanner says that big Decepticon took Spike and Spark Plug this way. Come on, guys. No sign of Iron Hide and the others, Optimus. You suppose they're lost? Possibly. There are hundreds of tunnels down here. Please help! Spike and Spark Plug. Flip Chopper, be cautious. 
cliff jumper. Are we glad to see you? Hang on. I'll have you out fast. Lucky for you, my laser has a defrost cycle. Ah, oh, great. Now let's find Ironhide and the rest of the guys. Well, I'll be reprogrammed with the rivet roller. Just like Optimus figured. They're draining the heat energy right out of the Earth's core. Look at that stack of energon cubes. We'd better find Optimus and the others before the Decepticons find us. Ah, the work goes well. Soon we will have all the energon cubes we need. Then we'll soon return to Cybertron and leave this dead planet of ice behind us? Yes, Starscream. Unless we are foolish enough to be careless. Seize those other ones! Dispose of them immediately. With pleasure, Megatron. Soundwave, check for more Autobots in the vicinity at once. We've been searching these tunnels for astro minutes and still no iron eye. Maybe we're all split up. Or double back. We'll maintain the prearranged search pattern. We don't want to roll around in circles. That takes too long, Optimus. I gotta move! Rabbit! Autobots, transform! I'll deal with them. Forget Rabbit! Roll! to go. Those years under the ice diminished your loyalty coefficient, Skyfire. But because of our old friendship, I shall be generous. You may have the pleasure of melting down these Autobots. But I'm a scientist, not an executioner. I am your superior. I order you to terminate them. No, I will not. They have done no wrong. But you have, traitor! Oh, Why do you miserable machine? I shall enjoy this! The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. <laughs> Farewell, Autobot parts! As for you, Skyfire, consider yourself fortunate that you did not end up like your friends. Destroy you! <laughs> An illusion, Skyfire. You and Starscream saw one of Hound's holograms. Then you are functioning. Good. Oh, yeah, we're functioning. I sure hope we'll be able to say the same for you. Let's get him behind some cover and start working. How is Skyfire, Ratchet? Not good. He was badly damaged. I don't get it. Why repair a Decepticon? He tried to save us, and Starscream blasted him for it! Well, that's all I can do. Now it's a matter of time and luck. Because inform me they are still functional. Hounds, holograms, they tricked me. But we shall not be fooled a second time. Decepticons, prepare to attack. <laughs> Autobots below, fire at will. for 
basements. Stabilizers hit! Can you pull out? Negative! No! Bumblebee, to the flank! Hound, duck! Not close enough, Megatron. Interesting choice of weapons, Optimus, but futile. Decepticons are defeated. But Skyfire is... is gone. He won't be forgotten, Spike. He will live forever. So long as freedom exists. We shall remember you, Skyfire. We, we shall, shall remember. remember. The Transformers will return after these messages. read G.I. Joe comics and stuff when you were a kid. Did you read any of the stuff, the, the war comics from D.C.? Uh, I was a big fan of Sergeant Rock, Unknown Soldier, and Creature Commandos. Um, love this series. Uh, it's Joe Kubert art on the covers. Um, I got lucky enough to meet Joe Kubert years ago. 
Super cool dude. Never met his sons, but Joe was pretty cool. Got a couple books signed. Uh, but, oh my god, I wanted to go get more signed, but I'd already stood in line forever. Um, but, there you go. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. The Icy Club. You could join the Icy Club. <laughs> you get all kinds of cool stuff if you join the Icy Bear Club. So, hope you guys dig Transformers. Still do. Because I'm about to bring you... I introduced it last week. And there goes Courage chasing uh, Vince. So, I brought it to you last week. Uh, and I'm bringing you Japanese Beast Wars. This is Beast Wars 2. Um, I, am a, I did not see this until much later on in life. Um... I was a big fan of the Transformers uh, Beast Wars CGI. Um, I had a friend of mine, he's like, man, VHS tape. This is the thing I don't get this was. I worked at the hotel. He's like, man, you got to check this out. This is Beast Wars in Japan. And I'm like, what? Okay, what? Because we got some of the toys over here, but they were just renamed. Um, and I start watching I'm like, ah, oh, I love this cartoon. Um, I love Leo Convoy. I, I gotta admit, that design is so much better than Optimus Primal for me. Um, I love the design of the characters. I love the design of some of the other ones. We did get some of them brought to us in America under different names. Um, you know, and, and that's just what they did with a lot of stuff. I mean, because Convoy was always Optimus Prime in Japan, so, you know. But... I'm going to bring you Episode 2, Beast Wars 2, White Lion Run. Enjoy. <laughs>銀河の果ての惑星ガイアでは正義と悪サイバトロンとデストロンの戦いが始まっていたあの白いライオンを追うんだあいつ一体何者なんだとにかく見逃すなとぶんやつくは見失ってまうぜ宇宙船じゃないか白いライオン走る皆さんお久しぶりちなみに仙台の大気は調整されているわ返信を解除しても大丈夫よ返信生き返ったぜ あのままビーストモードでいると気持ちまで動物になっちまうところだったぜなっとるなっとるあ、いけねえアパッチあんたも変身解除してサルから戻ったらもうだったるわい<笑><笑><笑><笑> 
白いライオン白いライオンよそろそろ本当の姿を見せてくれてもいいだろう変身みんな心配をかけろな私はこの通りピンピンしているよかったやっぱり無事だったんですねコンボイ司令よくぞよくぞご無事でうんアパッチ隊長代理ご苦労だった今日から私が舞台の隊長に戻るあいあいさうんいてもいなくても同じような隊長代理だったけどね何をもう一回行ってみろ<笑>本番司令心配させやがって無事だったらさっさと戻ってくるんじゃいすまんビッグホーンそうしたいのは山々だったんだしかし私も今度ばかりは危なかったうわっ本番司令爆発の影響でコントロールを失った私の小型機は小惑星帯を飛び越えてはるか惑星ガイアまで流れ着いた<笑>ダメだ体が動かない。惑星の大気に侵されたかもうここまでかうんどこへ連れて行くつもりなんだ私はそのライオンに助けられたこの惑星の神秘のエネルギーがなかったら私はどうなっていたかこの惑星ガイアではデストロンがそのエネルギーを利用してこの星を要塞化しようとしているんだ早速指令をコンボイ指令みんなうんナビ特製ステーキを作ってくれないか特製ステーキ私は万能コンピューターよそんなものお安い御用で作っちゃうけどさすがコンボイ司令まずはアニマルタッチでパーティーなんて開こうってわけか私はどちらかというとオイルと液体エネルギーのカクテルでロボットタッチのパーティーがグッドなのだが特製ステーキは私の命の恩人用だ助けてくれたお礼をしておきたくってねお預けか<笑>その頃デストロンはジャングルホール地下の古代遺跡にアングルモアエネルギーを感知し前線基地の建造準備に取り掛かっていたそしてその古代都市で使われていたコンピューターを発見したおおこれはすげえー兄ちゃん昔この星に住んでいた生物たちのコンピューターみたいだねうんハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハアニマル化した細胞との虫のむことができるそしてここにこの星を機械化する基地を作るのださすが兄ちゃんま
ずは俺がこの星最強の存在をスキャンして宇宙最強のトランスフォームをするそしてあの生意気なライオンを生け捕りにしてやる生け捕り殺しちゃえばいいじゃんあのライオンには何かを感じる嫌な予感がするのだいいじゃんおお惑星ガイアのスーパーコンピューターよ俺に真実を告げよこの星で最強の存在を俺にスキャニングするのだして寝てるがいいぜ兄貴あとはこのメガストームが破壊大帝として全てを仕切ってやるぜオートローラーズ3枚<笑>オートローラーズ高速機械をスキャニング開始最都市を作り上げるのだ動き出したかみんな出動だラジェーさて次はお前たちだコンバットロンどもよこの星でかつて活躍した兵器たちにスキャンするのだコンバットロン兵器スキャニング開始暴いてやるビビ大丈夫いいこと
ダージとスラストの大ボケコンビに差をつける願ってもないチャンスよあのライオンを捕まえてメガストームに取り入るのよダージャーメガストームは大ボケに見えてガルバトロンよりずっと冷たいやつよガルバトロンの抑えがなくなると恐ろしい本性を表すなどこに隠れてるのかしらライオンちゃんご機嫌よあれよライオンよビビラジオもうバカ誰が爆撃しろって言ったのよ捕まえなきゃでしょラジオラジにスラストの漫才コンビじゃないのスタースクリーム兄さんでっかいだけのデクノボを相手にしたら苦労しまんないやほんまやわあのライオン捕まえるんはうちらに任せて基地帰って歯でも磨いとき<笑><笑>あいつらビビ奥の手出してラジャー何<笑><笑><笑>マジー何すんねん<笑>ダイバー、タスマニアキッドはジャングルの火災を消すんだ。アパッチは私と。はいはいさん。どこへ行ったのライオンちゃん。諦めて出てきなさい。これどうするんです？うん。ビッグホーンのだんなすごいでんなきっと何やってんのやおしっこで火を消してんだよおい緊張しててへんわ心配ない私だ大丈夫これくらいの傷なら済んだ押せますデストロンたちめ私と間違えてライオンコンボへどこへそんなに捕まえたけりゃ捕まってやるさ無茶するなライオンコンボへアパッチはみんなと連絡を取りジャングルの火
私はいかん<笑>メガストーム破壊隊艇陛下聞こえんもう一度メガストーム破壊隊艇陛下なんだご所望のライオンこのスタースクリームが捕まえてまいりましたそうかよくやったさあビビラジャーなんだそりゃ中身はどこだ中身はえいや違うのよ私この中にちゃんと私はここだま,まさかその声は<笑>コンボイ改めライオコンボイ参上前進お前は小惑星で死んだはず天はまだ私を必要としているようだ<笑>倒せ倒すんだやつを倒せジャングルの自然を破壊し動物たちを傷つけるお前たちに情けをかける必要はあるまいジャングルの平和は守られたありがとうライオン私はライオコンボイだ今日は我々サイバトロンの敵エストロンを分析してみようダージとスラストはジェット機コンビだ大型の兵器は持っていないが小回りを利かせたスピーディーな攻撃は手ごわいぞずる賢いスタースクリームと大型の爆撃能力とランチャーの連続ミサイル攻撃を持つ BB のコンビはさらに強力だメガストームは戦車に変形する特にその砲塔から打ち放つメガキャノンをまともに受けたら私でも危ないだろうそして敵の破壊大帝ガルバトロンだガルバトロンはまだその正体こそ見せてはいないがメガストームを超える強力な武器を持っているに違いない確かにデストロンは強力な敵だしかしサイバトロンは負けないみんな我々の戦いを応援してほしいではまた会おうハニースマックス。
part of this good for you breakfast. Now you can enjoy a scrump delicious Dairy Queen Sunday free. Medium size in your favorite yummy flavor. The free coupons on specially marked packages of Honey Smacks. Here comes Point Dread and the Talon Fighter, including adventure book and story record with sound effects. Action figures sold separately. Let's hear He-Man, Skeletor, and the Point Dread story. I, Skeletor, will finally defeat He-Man. I'll use the Talon Fighter to stop Skeletor. In a flash, He-Man's hurled through space and time. Surrender to the power of Point Dread's Talon Fighter. You win, He-Man, but I'll be back. <laughs> Point Dread and the Talon Fighter with record and storybook. You have to put it together. Action figures sold separately from Mattel. I just love how they sent these comic books right here with these giant ads for rings in the middle of them. Class rings. I didn't want to worry about my class ring and diamond rings and stuff like that. And it's like, what? this is a silly thing to put in the middle of a comic book, especially Rom. And now, if you because a lot of these got ripped out because people hated them, and now if you find a comic that has that in there, it actually has value because so many of them got ripped out. So, all right, I just have to say this: I am a sucker for Leo Convoy. Um, I believe I still have Leo Convoy. Uh, he just boxed up with the other primes. Uh, really cool. Love the lion transformation stuff like that. I think it's awesome so i'm gonna come to an end today i'm bringing you some of my favorite hero cartoons um having a blast i am putting an extra special bonus after the credits tonight uh so you can hang out watch that and uh that's pretty cool um i found it they did a pretty good job on it we'll talk about it more later but that's going to be a surprise but here we go. We're going to talk some vinyl. I'm bringing you this. This was given to me as a Christmas present a couple years back uh, by Mick. Big shout out to Mick. Uh, this is the music of John Carpenter. Boom. It has the themes from like The Fog, Halloween, Christine, uh, all these. But here's the thing. It's a remix album from Germany. So, you can see, look at that, that, that is not an English word, as I'm trying to do this, there we go, backwards, there, not an English word. The titles of the songs, boom, uh, you know, because you got The End, Escape from New York, um, you got Christine, you've got uh, just so much stuff. This is bonkers crazy remix album of this stuff, and it's definitely, you can tell it's German. Uh, this is plain black vinyl. Uh, it does come with a CD, so because um, sometimes you get the ones where you go, oh, well, it's got a uh, code, so you can download this or download that. And I'm like, nope, this one's got an actual CD. Look at that, real physical CD. So it is really cool. It is a bizarre oddity to have. Um, is not something I listen to all the time. It's definitely something I listen to at Halloween time, but I listen to all my John Carpenter albums around Christmas time because they're, I mean, I've got like 10 John Carpenter albums and five of them are, oh, at least five of them are, yeah, five of them are Halloween albums. <laughs> so why not just listen to your Halloween albums at Halloween time? So... <sighs> All right, I want to say thank you to everybody who hangs out and watching us, sticking with us for 120 episodes. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, there's so much other stuff you could be doing on a Saturday morning, but you're hanging out with me, and I appreciate the heck out of it. Uh, I'm not going to do a rundown today, but I love all you guys hanging out with me right now. I can see you streaming through, uh, bumping there. Um, I'm currently still working on the the logistics of how to become a co-host on the show because uh, it might be a little harder than I thought, but only because of scheduling. So, because the captain records a lot of shows late at night, and I do a lot of my editing and stuff late at night, so to bring somebody in is, you know, whatever. But we'll figure it out. So we're going to do this. We're going to work on all this stuff over the next couple weeks. 
to bring you some really cool stuff soon. So, on that note, I'm going to say, remember, watch every Monday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, Group Therapy TV. We got the best in interviews from the gamut of guests. Uh, I've done people interviews with people making toys. I've done interviews with actors, actresses, musicians, wrestlers, you name it. I've probably inter interviewed them, um, and I like it. I'm going to keep it going. Um, Sci Fridays, every Friday at 12, at 12. Every Sci Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch some of the best sci-fi movies and TV shows from back in the past. And you're watching The Beast That Is Saturday Morning Serials right now, every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, except for if I give you a little bump and it'll be a little early. Because uh, I'm just going to keep you guys on your toes. So be prepared. And uh, you can watch us over at the Monster Channel, uh, streaming uh, back on Roku. He's back up on Roku. It looks like I just talked to Halloween Jack that Sci Fridays will be going back. We'll be going to, to the Monster Channel sometime soon, along with Group Therapy TV. So uh, I'm doing that. Uh, I'm working on a currently working on another show with, uh, if you've watched my past episodes with Hawk from Hawk and Loaded, uh, it looks like we're going to be doing a show twice a month. I uh, believe the title may be called Metal Shop. We're going to be talking about music and things and being somebody who grew up on metal. So there you go. You can enjoy that. But I'm going to let you guys have a wondrous, wondrous weekend and have fun and take care. Uh, remember, just because you grow older doesn't mean you have to grow up, which I have not said that in a long time. And uh, there's always time for cartoons. There's always time to play with toys. And uh, you all take care, and I'll see you all there. Bye. Captain out. This Saturday morning marked the first time that no cartoons aired on an American broadcast channel. The last channel still showing cartoons. Hold the plug. Cartoons were the dominant morning program from the 1960s through the 1980s. triumph over anything in the realm, as you well know. They will not fail. Well then, perhaps you would not be adverse to a test of their courage. We shall see how brave they are when you turn away from them. If they succeed, they will find the key. And if they fail, what do they lose? Everything. Their weapons. 
their lives. So be it. cornered. Ah! Hang on, sis. I'm coming. Yeah! Ah! All right. Everything's going to be okay now. Dungeon Master! Dungeon Master, help! Come on, Gungada, help us! Dungeon Master, Master, help! You got into this by yourselves, my young friends. Now get out of it by yourselves. Huh? According to this, the Flame Martins are that way. This way, to the Sea of Sorrow. Great! Which road leads where? Who cares? It doesn't matter. I, I can't believe he would just abandon us like that. We go west, Eric. Why? It's downhill. We're more likely to find water. The other way's a better road. Might lead to a town. I'm the leader, Eric. You said so before, remember? I was under a lot of pressure then. Maybe I see things clearer now. Maybe it's time we had a little election. What do you say, Presto? Well, the eastern road does look better. Yeah, well, I think the west road looks better. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Bobby. Keep out of this, sis. You're always How come you're your always right and I'm always wrong? Hold it! Hold it! Come on. We all know what this is really about. We're not mad at each other. We're mad at Dungeon Master. I don't know what to tell you, except that it's getting dark. We'd better find a place to camp. You want the point, Eric? You got it. Lead the way.
Maybe it wasn't really Dungeon Master. It was him. Do you think I wouldn't know him? This whole realm is a dungeon, you know that? And we're all prisoners. We thought Dungeon Master was our friend, but it turns out he's just another guard. What are we going to do now? If Dungeon Master's abandoned us, who's going to help us? I will help you. Be at ease, my young enemies. I shall not harm you. Move very slowly, Venger. So Dungeon Master has finally shown his true colors. Have you never wondered why his advice always led you into battle and never back to your world? It has been convenient for you to see Dungeon Master as good and me as evil. But things are not that simple. I have granted you your lives before. Aid me now, and I shall grant you your dearest wish. I will send you back to your own world. To the south lies Realm's Edge. There you will find a cenotaph, an empty tomb. Within it is a key, which you must cast into the abyss. Do this, and you will go home. You have my word. Forget it, Venger! No way we're working for you! Wait a minute, Hank. What choice do we have? Dungeon Master's abandoned us. Venger, he may be our only ticket home. I think Eric's got a point, Hank. Venger's ruthless, but he's got a code. I believe him. So do I. All I want is to go home. And I don't care who's responsible for sending us there. You guys can't be serious. You know Venger's bad news. Eric, we gotta stick together. Hi, Hank. We always stick together and it hasn't gotten us home. You guys can go do what you want, but we are going after that key. Bobby! Won't you change your mind? I think you're making a mistake, Sheila. Magic and the hat be free. Let us use the sky as the sea. but we're not turning back. We've got to get to Realm's Edge first. Somehow. Just what we need. More problems! Wait, Bobby! It might help us. All aboard! We hope you know what you're doing, Diana. So do I. should get some sleep. Why do you think we're here, Diana? In the realm, I always thought it was to defeat Venger. 
So did I. But I'm beginning to wonder. Maybe Venger's right about one thing. Maybe things aren't that simple. Hey, look! Spells running out of gas. They're gaining on us! Stop, you guys! Please! No way! This is our last chance to go home! Have it your way! Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna force them down! Did. They've come through tougher spots than this. Hank? I'm sorry, Bobby. It was my fault. What do we do now, Hank? The volcanoes won't let us go back. We'll have to go on to Realm's Edge. sign of them? Nothing. They must have been... It's not your fault, Eric. Oh, yeah, right. Somebody else used my shield to bounce a flame arrow into a volcano. If you hadn't gotten your magic hat to bail us out, our gooses would be charcoal now. Come on. The least I can do is find Vendor's key and get you two home. to return to their home is stronger than anything else. Without your support, they will crumble. Their courage will not fail them. They will do what has to be done. We shall see. That which is in the cenotaph will test their courage. No, Diana. I think we've gone as far as we can go. I guess I've led us straight to disaster. Hey, look at the bright side. You beat us here. Eric! 
Bridge. Bobby. Boy, am I glad to see you. I'm sure glad you guys are okay. Now all we have to do is get the key and we can go home. You're not still planning on that, are you? You bet we are. I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight. Eric, you're already sleeping and dreaming if you think Bender's going to follow through on his promise. If there's even the slightest chance... Forget it, Eric. Nobody opens this door. That's what you think. Presto, show it. Well... Okay. That's three, Presto. You're on a roll. We've got to stop them. They're playing right into Avengers' hands. Don't do it, Eric! How are you gonna stop me, Hank? I don't know. But neither of us want to find out. What was that? Whatever it is, it knows what we are. Launch! Yeah? Let's see if it likes its food spicy. Looks like it liked that just fine. Let me try. We better think of something. This bowl of jelly means business. Yeah? Well, so do I! Bobby! Be careful! Bobby! Are you alright? Good news and bad news. That thing's been buried. But we can't get back down. Which means we have to go up. You win. For now. Venture. Doubtful and suspicious of each other and their quest, but still coming. Ha! They can yet fail, and they will. Do not celebrate your victory yet, old one. It is not I who will be the winner, Venger. It is you. They are here. Well, this is it. Doesn't look like much. Look! It goes on forever! There's a keyhole here. This is a door. Look, on the lid, it's Venture. I don't get it. Who'd want to make old Hornhead look good? Only one way to find out. We've got the key. Now all we've got to do is throw it in the abyss and we're home free! Don't you get it yet? We'll never get home by trusting Venger. Out of my way, Hank. No, I'm right about this. I know it. Let me go! 
Let me do it! You want to be a prisoner here forever? Eric, remember what you said about this whole realm being a dungeon? I think you were right! We're all prisoners here, including Venger! And this is the key! including your presence here. Once you are touched with power, you are never again quite the same. Just stand there. Get me out of here! Thanks. Look! Avenger! I was right. Our mission in the realm was not to defeat Venger, it was to redeem him. Father, I... I have returned. Thank you, my young pupils. You have done the one thing it was not in my power to do. You have returned my son to me. You're Venger's father? There's not a very big family resemblance. Thousands of years ago, I chose to serve another master, one of evil. I imprisoned within the cenotaph all that which Dungeon Master had given me. Now, you have set me free. <gasps> and 
as you have given those trapped in this realm their freedom, I can do no less for you. You are free to return to your world now, if you wish. Or you can stay here in the realm. There is still much evil to be dealt with, and many adventures yet to be had. The choice, my children, is yours. Oh yeah, we don't want to miss that. Dungeon Master, our parents, they must be so worried. If you ever need us... Yes, Ranger. I will remember. Don't forget about me. Who's gonna take care of you? I will. Presto! But why? I want to become a real wizard. And you know, Merlin here did promise to teach me. See you around, Presto. said hi. First lesson, apprentice, never keep a lady waiting.